So here's a real world dilemma. If you are one of the unlucky overheating users of the new Samsung Galaxy S25, you are faced with the following issue. Your return window is closing. You really, really like this device and you want to keep it only if it weren't overheating. Many new users of the S25 series are stuck with this dilemma. Do you try and fix it on your own or return it? Now, if you have a toasty S25 series device and you're wondering if there's anything we can do to try and cool it down, you are in luck. I might have a potential fix. Keyword is might. Or at the very least, I'll walk you through some of the simple and easy procedures to help you find the potential culprit for the rise in temperatures. These are some of the basic things we can do as users to try and look at every angle and avenue possible outside of tweaking the thermals of the chip or modifying the system image. The most logical way of trying to eliminate this issue is with a manufactured issued software update. That is, if the overheating fix is even baked into the update. No pun intended. You see, Samsung has not even acknowledged this overheating issue. The February 2025 security patch and software update has already been issued by Samsung, but it is taking its time to find users. Technically, we should get the update here in the next few days, but I've been saying that for the last few days, right? <laughs> in the Samsung issue change log for this February update, there is no mention of overheating correction or thermal throttling. It does mention optimizations, but let's be real. When does it not mention optimizations? So let's go through some actions you can take to try and eliminate or at least reduce the heat this new device is generating. First off, the, the Snapdragon 80 Elite just runs hot, right? It's a simple fact. Anyone can do a quick Google search to find out this information. This is why Samsung included a 40% larger vapor chamber in the S25 Ultra compared to last year's S24 Ultra to try and dissipate the increase in heat of the CPU. When this chip generates the most heat is when it's essentially redlined, right? Maxed out at full performance. Think of the CPU as a race car engine. The more RPMs, the more it revs up, the more heat the engine generates. Well, that is understandable if you're gaming, or shooting 4K videos or editing, but what if, what if the device is just sitting on the counter with the screen off, right? Shouldn't it be nice and cool? Well, a lot of users, that's not the case. They're getting hot. And that is exactly what is happening to the overheating units. So what is causing that? Typically, overheating issues are caused by a wake lock or an app that is awake when the device is supposed to be in deep sleep mode. There are a ton of apps you can use to detect a wake lock. I use two specifically, AccuBattery and GSAM Battery Monitor. Links for both are down below in the description box. I will walk you through how to locate and detect a wake lock and how to eliminate it uh, in just a second. But now, before we get into the next method, let me mention this method was brought to me or to my attention by a subscriber of the channel. They simply left a message with the simple process. Now, I had already returned my overheating Jet Black S25 Ultra, so I couldn't directly test this method on my device, but I did pass this method on to a user on Reddit, and uh, they did message me back and notified me it did work on their device. Take this with a grain of salt, but at this point, users are willing to, <laughs> to try anything, right, before their return window closes. So what is this next method? This next method includes simply wiping the cache partition. It's not necessarily as easy as it sounds. You do have to boot the device into recovery. If you have never booted a device into recovery, you are in luck. I'm about to walk you through how to do it on one of my devices shortly. Now, cool thing is about the methods that we are going to perform is it will work for any Android device, not just the S25 series, right? These methods are not guaranteed to work for everyone with an overheating device or S25 device. The following methods are simply the easiest and most logical way for end users to try and reduce this specific overheating issue. If these don't work, at last ditch effort is to always factory reset the device. Uh, I was just thinking of all the overheating devices. 
how many of the overheating devices were set up from a restore, from a backup of a previous device? Was the restored and imported data causing the rise in temperatures? If your device is still overheating after performing these methods we just reviewed or we're about to review, and you did set up your S25 series with a restore from a backup, here's another tip. Try factory resetting your device and set it up as a fresh device. I know it sucks, yes. You got to add each and every app manually from the Play Store. Uh, it is a long and tedious process, but I'm still uh, just trying to think of anything and everything we can do as users. So uh, before we get out of here, I must say there is a chance these don't work at all. Uh, there is a chance the overheating issue can only be fixed by Qualcomm or Samsung. In that case, we'll just have to wait for the future updates, right? Whatever the case, I hope your issue gets resolved sooner rather than later. These are really nice devices, and it's a shame users are having to return these devices due to overheating issues. All right, so the two applications that I specifically use uh, to try and locate a wake lock in the system is AccuBattery and GSAM. Now, GSAM is not on the Play Store, but you can get it at APK Mirror. I'll have the link in the description box below. AccuBattery is on the Play Store. So once you go through AccuBattery, yeah, 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 you go through the setup and you get a bunch of information here, right? So what you want to find is, is there an app uh, whether it's a third-party app, meaning you, you download it from the Play Store, or if it's a system app, you want to try and locate an app that is constantly running in the, in the background while the device is uh, asleep, right? There we go. You want to unrestrict it so it can, so it can while the device is running, you want AccuBattery to be running as well to try and locate and gather all this information on your device while it's sleeping. You don't want the device to close out AccuBattery like all the other apps. You want AccuBattery to run. Now, you don't have to always keep this on your device. You can try and locate it and then uninstall it once you're completed. Uh, so now the battery usage unrestricted. Okay. Down here give you your discharge status on your bat on your battery the temperature as well right now i just installed this so it's probably not going to list any applications here information as far as kind of an overview of your device you, the internals the apps the batteries charging discharging all that good stuff now i'll, I'll leave that for you all to look into now the cool app and now this is not a harmful app. Now, it was on the Play Store. This is what used to be one of my favorite apps. Well, I guess it still is of all times. GSAM. Now, it's not on the Play Store, as I mentioned, but you can get it from APK Mirror, link below in the description box. But the reason why it was removed from the Play Store is not because it was malicious. It just simply didn't meet the Google Play Store terms of service. Now, why, did not, why didn't they meet the Google Play Store terms of service? Well, in the GSAM app, you can actually, uh, it, and it walks you through the setup. Now, a computer will be required to to access uh, device history, the internal, the battery stats. Google doesn't want you to look at your battery stats. So let's walk through this. Now, here is the uh, uh, home screen overview. A little more detailed information. It does give you charging and discharging. There's also a cool widget you can put on your home screen. But look at this. So use 1% in the last three minutes, and it gives you a breakdown of what item in your device has taken what from your battery. So my screen has taken 40% of my battery usage. Bluetooth, 1%. I am connected to Bluetooth. But look at this, app usage. So that's what you want to find. We'll get into the battery stats in just a second. So if you go into here, gives you a breakdown of what, it, what apps are consuming your battery, right? And it gives you a list, a long list of all your apps, right? At the bottom are the ones you don't really use. Up top, obviously, the ones you do use, right? So Android system, that is obviously pretty self-explanatory as the Android system. The kernel uh, in Android, and then if there's any apps here that you can tell that are 
And there's not just one specific percentage or number that you need to be looking for, but you need to limit its access, right? So, but let's just take it, that's a third party app. Let's go into a system app. So Android system. Now it's a bunch, it looks like it's a bunch of gibberish and sometimes you can tell, look, sync, loop, wake, lock. So it's kind of hard to locate wake locks from within and close them out from within the Android system, right? Um, now you can pick a specific, uh, package to manage, to close it out, to freeze it. Uh, if one of these is, is draining your battery more than the others, and you got to go down here in the detail, once you find it, you can manage it, find out what, what, uh, package, uh, packet it is in, and then you can monitor it from there, or control it from, from there before we do that. So we're on the homepage here, right? Now you can go to charts. You can look at battery history. You can look at temperature of your device, phone signal, right? Rate of char uh, rate of change, and then you can check out the CPU. Is your CPU ramping up, right? Uh, that's charts. This is your app sucker. They put right at the bottom, so you don't even have to locate it. Just boom, all all your main uh, uh, channels, all your main topics you're going to want to look at are going to be down here. And then the final third one, you can kind of customize how you see the data you kind of have to do your own investigation right uh and look uh, google's your best friend if you uh, and look you can always if you've got a question hit me up in the comments i'll be more than happy to try to explain something to you uh but try not trying not to make this too long check this out let's go over here and go to more enable more stats so enable more stats now it takes you through a setup process you're going to want to do this it only takes a couple minutes um now what this does is you actually have to uh, download uh, ADB on a on a computer, and you have to basically enable battery stats via a computer. Now it's very easy. Connect to a computer and use the ADB command to enable access. Okay, show me how. Well, it's very easy. I prefer and recommend doing this one. That link and it will be in the description box below as well. Take you to where you can download and install ADB on your computer. You plug in your phone. Once you've got ADB installed. On your computer, you plug in your phone, and all you do is copy and paste or type in that command in your computer, and it'll activate um, it'll activate the per pro battery stats in the application. Now, this is the only reason why it was removed from the Google Play Store. So it's not doing anything malicious. You're just act. You're not even installing anything on your phone. All you're doing is simply enabling battery stats to be seen by the user. That's all you're doing. Now, that gives you more access to try and locate wake locks in what is keeping your phone awake, all right? Okay, if you wanna wipe your cache partition for your device, you're not wiping the data. This is not a factory data reset. You're still gonna have your applications. You're still gonna have the data in your applications. You're simply gonna wipe the system clean of all the cache that's built up in it. So it's like recent memory and not a permanent memory. So uh, you'll still have your apps, you still have your, your accounts on there and everything. When you got your new S25, if you restore data from a backup, there could be some files that was restored on your S25 Ultra that's creating that wake lock, that's creating that overheating issue. Well, if that's the case, even if you didn't, even if you, let's just say your phone is overheating, you don't know why, give this a try. Uh, but going back to restoring data, if you did restore data from an old backup on your new S25 Ultra, this may help clear, not necessarily those corrupted files, um, but will help maybe clean out some of the issues that's causing the overheating. So what you're going to do is you're going to restart your device to swipe down, restart. Yes. And what you're going to do is hold the power. When that goes away, hold the power button and the volume up at the same time. Power and volume up at the same time. And you're going to wait for it to reboot again, and I'll show you what to do. Very easy. Power and volume up. Continue to press it. Continue to press it, continue to press it. Now, once you see this, let go. So this is a fast boot or Android recovery, right? So this is like the back file system of your device. What you're gonna wanna go to, you can reboot system now, apply update from ADB, no. Apply update from SD card, no. Wipe data factory reset, no. That would, could, that would completely wipe your phone of all accounts, all your apps, all your data, everything, and restore it to when it's like it's brand new. We do not want to do that. 
What you wanna do is the cache partition one under that right there. You control it, you go up and down with the volume buttons, right? And then once you locate a command you wanna do, you hit the power button to select it. So we got wipe cache partition. We're gonna hit the power button to select it. Now it's gonna give you a warning, but uh, again, this does not uh, wipe your device. This does not factory reset it. You're just cleaning out the temporary files. You'll still have your data, you'll still have your apps, you'll still have your pictures, you'll still have your accounts. This is just cleaning the temporary file. So it'll say wipe cache, this cannot be undone. Yes, I know that. So scroll down to yes and hit the power button. Uh, it, the cache partition was wiped. You're gonna reboot and uh, hopefully your phone will not overheat. All methods associated links will be posted in the description box down below. Uh, please comment, let me know if you have any uh, uh, overheating issues on your S25 series, if you don't, uh, if any of the methods we went over helped you at all, um, just let us know, right? So uh, hit me up in the comments, I check them every day. As always, stay safe and I'll see you tomorrow, peace.